Hello everyone, this is Alan Fine. I am here with Jordan Spreckman, who is the founder of New York Sports Tours. We're gonna to find out about this new luxury, uh, what would you call it, event, uh, luxury. It's, ex it's a luxury experience. experience. In New York City, something not to be missed, and this is Insider Travel Report. Jordan, my big question is, when did you first think of it, and how long did it take to gestate? This is huge. It, yeah, it is, it is huge. I probably started thinking about this. Well, let me back up a second. Sure. Good friend of mine who has since passed away, Bill Shannon, had an idea for something that he called the New York Sports Museum and Hall of Fame. And he and I worked on putting a museum together here in New York in the late 1980s. And we spent probably about 15 years steadily working on it and... For a variety of reasons, it didn't work out. But the it's tough. Right. But the idea of bringing together sports history and explaining why sports is such an important part of the New York social and cultural firmament, the idea of taking sports and using it as a vehicle to make broader social and cultural points, explaining the impact of sports on society and culture in New York, that idea, which was at the core of the idea for the museum, has always stayed with me. And the other thing is that that's a brick and mortar and that's hard to do. This is now mobile. It's essentially a museum on wheels. What we do is we bring, in effect, a museum experience. So think about going to a museum, putting, renting the tape, putting on the headset, and walking around. Essentially what you're doing is you're bringing that museum quality and type of experience you're bringing it into a small van, luxury van, and you're riding around in New York with a live narrator who's going to be interspersing as appropriate where you know where you pass stuff because if you just sit and listen to video for three hours, that's going to be you know a boring experience going on blowing. No, your but brain. there's so much history right there on the street. Correct, and it bringing that experience into the van and then watching and interacting with. 30 plus documentaries on what we call New York Game Changers, who are people or events that had a major impact on New York sports history. That's at the core what the tour is, and what we're trying to do is in an entertaining way, explain the links between New York sports history and the broader society at large. And I'm hearing great phrases like, this isn't a ESPN, this is PBS. <laughs> that this is, that the quality is that that wonderful that well, well I think that's scholarly welcome aboard a ride through time to places where sports in New York has helped shape the nation and the world we'll see successes and failures we'll meet heroes and rogues We'll watch change sweep through fields such as entertainment, finance, law, health, politics, and fashion. And we'll observe how sports has been both an example and a catalyst of social and historical developments. There's a direct line between Jackie Robinson and me standing here. Had it not been for Mr. Branch Rickey, this thing couldn't have come about. He had a much more difficult role than I had. Your ticket reads New York Game Changers. With it, you'll visit some of the people, places, and things worthy of that title. Decision for Cassius Clay. And sites that help tell their history. Some of the stops will be notable birthplaces, among them of baseball as we know it, football's foundational rules, basketball's broad popularity, the amateur athletic movement, and some sports-inspired popular culture. Take, Take me, me out to the ball game. Take me out with the crowd. Buy me some peanuts and cracker jacks. Our journey is through the past and near present. Zero Hour is 11 a.m. September 22nd, 1776. The city of New York with a population of about 25,000, is the island of Manhattan. American General George Washington and his troops 
have just lost a battle with the British in midtown Manhattan in a swath of farmland. We're next to a bronze marker. It looks like well, we're certainly looking for scholarly. We are trying to, I mean, we're not in the business of trying to debunk myths, but where there are myths that need to be debunked, we do debunk them. Uh, what we're trying to do is bring a historically impermeable uh, quality uh, and historical accuracy to that history. And we're doing it, uh, like I say, in this entertaining way and using the vehicle of Midtown Manhattan, New York Sports Midtown Manhattan, uh, as, as the milieu, because there's an awful lot of history just right here in Midtown Manhattan that nobody knows about. And say, well, who cares? The reason people don't care is because they don't know. <laughs> Once they know, they actually care. Getting out for 10 or 15 people is different than you know, getting out with 50 or 75 people, right, that's right. probably not practical. But that also adds to the luxury of it. It's more relaxing. It's not as much pressure. Yes, it's more relaxing. It's not as much pressure. And the um, and, and you can actually ask questions of the tour guide. You get out, for instance, can't promise it every single time, but we would like to get out at the 69th Regiment Armory at 25th Street and, and Lexington Avenue and be able to go inside. Because 69th Regiment Armory packs an awful lot of New York sports history into that one Space. building. Yes, and... You say, well, it's, it's an armory it, right. that, that's military. What does it have to do with sports? Right. Well, the Knicks played over 100 games there when they first started, you know, the first 15 years of their existence, for instance. Uh, their marathons run in, the, in, the, in that armory. Right, right. Uh, it was a staging area for um, victims of the September 11 terrorist attacks, as an example. So, and, and actually, the Yankees went to uh, the armory to comfort some of the families. And actually, the Yankees were like, well, no, we really don't want to go. And the people said, no, we would like to, to see the Yankees to help them with their grieving. Right, right. That's the kind of thing that you, the first of all, that you learn about right. just on the tour. And if you can get out and actually walk around and take a look at the armory, it's like, really? The Knicks played here? And right. now they play at Madison Square right. Garden? Is that possible? Yeah, that's possible. Because there's an awful lot of that history that's actually been lost. And what we're trying to do is bring back some of that lost history. Now, can um, uh, wheelchair accessible? Yes, make a wheelchair accessible for anybody uh, who needs that. Because the man that gave me the gift of sports needs a wheelchair right now. Okay, well, yeah, we... we we will make accommodations for anybody who wants to be on that tour. It is something that uh, th that has come up in the past, and yes, we are prepared. At, we ask people, you know, or, you know, do you have any particular? Like, we ask about dietary restrictions, of course, but we also ask about. Uh, well, let's talk about that. Some of the tours end up here. Right. The the every every tour is scheduled to end here at Keene's Restaurant. Now, Tell them about that restaurant. So 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 Keene's has been around for about 130 years, and it is it, it, it's been a site for um, it, it, it's been a gathering place for all manner of New York society. The theater, politicians, and a lot of uh, famous athletes, and executives, but athletes too. Uh, so it was a good choice. We, we, we picked it deliberately. It is an excellent venue for exactly this kind of thing because the, the, the history just come, oozes out of the wall, whether it's sports history or non-sports history. In fact, over in the back there uh, is a program from Ford's Theater from the night that President Lincoln was assassinated. Now, and this is one of those things where we're not, we're, we're not trying to get the history wrong. Maybe it was President Lincoln's program. <laughs> Maybe it wasn't. But it was, in fact, a program from Ford's Theater on that night, April 14th, 1865. Uh, because one of the people who was working in the theater picked up a program, maybe it was Lincoln's, maybe it was, picked up a program, moved to New York, got a job here at Keene's, and donated that particular program. And that's cool. That is very cool. Um, another question. It, it, it's very affordably priced for the luxury that, I, that, that it is. Well, I, we priced it at $150. Yeah, we priced it at $150 for the three hour tour, no meal, $200 for tour with meal and whether I don't know if it's for me to say whether it's affordably priced or not we certainly obviously we think it is affordably priced uh, and, and you can use a lot of you know analogous situations uh, you know what does a Broadway orchestra seat cost without dinner right uh, 
right. you know, it's, go, it's, it's going to fall into that kind of range, again, depending on uh, where the tickets are. Uh, you know, what's the cost to go to a baseball game? It's going to be more than that. What's the cost of a uh, box seat at, for instance, the U.S. Open Tennis Championships? What was the cost to go to a, you know, to get good seats at Madison Square Garden for a Knicks game? We think it's yeah. in a reasonable price range, and and we obviously we think it's a fair price. Other New England cities like. Uh once you've learned this, you've got the, f the blueprint for this kind of a tour. Mm -hmm. Boston, Chicago. Before we get to Boston and Chicago, what we actually plan to do is to do this in New York, uh, in other parts of the city. So, for instance, Upper Manhattan. Got it. There's enough history just here. The Armory. You've got the original Hilltop Park where the Yankees started. You got the Polo Grounds, which is kind of the Yankee Stadium before there was Yankee Stadium. You got the original Yankee Stadium. You got Baker Field, Columbia University. Right, right. You've got, right. so that tour is sort of stage two. Makes stage sense. Stage three would be. You've thought about this. <laughs> yes, actually, yes. Well, well, it, well, well, and again, based, you know, and based on feedback, because people have said, well, what, what about Forest Hills and Flushing Meadow uh, for tennis, right? Which is right across the street, obviously, from Shea Stadium, which has got a whole history of its own. Right. Brooklyn, downtown Brooklyn, of course, with the Dodgers and uh, Barclays Center now. Mm -hmm. There's history all over, and so what we're trying to do, I have a good friend of mine who's always who, who said, in a non-sports context, but he used a sports analogy, control your home court. Gotcha. That makes sense. So we're controlling our home, we're trying to control our home court. We want to get this right, profitable, seamless in New York, do the Midtown Manhattan tour first. Expand to Bronx, Queens, Brooklyn, perhaps downtown Manhattan, because a lot of history down there as well. Uh, we'll see. Mm -hmm. And then, seeing how we're doing, take it to, you mentioned Boston. Boston, obviously, you know, huge sports history. history, a lot of history there, Philadelphia. But I don't want you to be so successful that someone runs in before you. Uh, well, given the barriers to entry for putting... Which you know what they are. Yes. Uh, the <laughs> first-hand experience with the, with the, uh, with, with, with the startup uh, costs are for this. Uh, given the barriers to entry, I'm not worried that somebody else is going to come along and try to duplicate right. this. Right. Uh, although, there's a part of me that says, well, imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. So if somebody tries to do this uh, same way, obviously it's a good idea. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's kind of the way I think about it. Okay. Well, you've spent a lot of time with us, and I appreciate it. Thank you very much. I wish you a lot of luck. It's a great idea. I can't wait to take my dad on this thing. Well, I appreciate that. Thank you for saying that. So this is Alan Fine for Insider Travel Report.